ಐ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಕ್ಲೀಸ್ ಇವತ್ತು ನನ್ನ ಜೊತೆ ಇದಾರೆ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಅವರು ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಸ್ಟರ್ಲೈಟ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸ್ಟರ್ಲೈಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನೀವು ತುಂಬಾ ಕೇಳಿರ್ತೀರಾ ತಮಿಳ್ನಾಡಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬಾ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಎನ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಒಳಗಾಗ ಅಂತ ಕೇಸ್ ಅದು ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಗಳು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ತಲೆ ಎತ್ಬೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕ್ಲಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಬೇಗ ಎನ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬೇಗ ಕ್ಲಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಲಂಚ ಗಳು ಅಂತಾರೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರು ಪಾಪ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಇಂತ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರು ಮರ್ಕಳಿಸ್ಬೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ವಿಷಯನ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರೋದ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಅವ್ರು ಕೊಯಂಬತ್ತೂರಿಂದ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರು ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಏನೇನ್ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಕೊನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಬೇಗ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಫಾರ್ ಜಾನಿ ಮಿ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೀಟೇಕ್ ಇದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರೀಟೇಕ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ವಿ ಅದು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ಸತಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೀಟೇಕ್ ತಗೊಂತೀನಿ ತುಂಬಾ ಐ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಅವರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈನ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಸ್ಟರ್ಲೈಟ್ ದರ್ಲೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮದರ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ based on a london based group i have started uh, planning uh, setting up a industry in uh, gujarat varas goa and maharashtra just uh, both uh, all the three of the state have been neglected mm-hmm. and later on they have came up to the set up the industry in tamil nadu in tutukudi district okay okay uh, of the for initially they have started on 1992 uh, where the maharashtra government have allocated 500 acres of the uh, land to the government uh, land to the store like correct plan to operate the 60000 tons per year of copper mm-hmm. and associated facilities in ratnagiri district in maharashtra after a strong protest uh, uh, by the people for one year in maharashtra in july 1993 uh, the district director of ratnagiri sent a letter to sterlite industry to terminate the process and scrap the project from maharashtra mm-hmm. so they have stopped the project with a 200 crores of investment that they have in ratnagiri district initially on setting up industry then after scrapping the project that they moved to the negotiation with some other government and uh, they were uh, success on bringing up the project to Tamil Nadu in 1994 uh, where they got uh, Tamil Nadu pollution board control board uh, uh, no objection certificate on August uh, 1994 then uh, environmental impact assessment certificate also they have got and uh, they started setting up the process uh, into the Kuri district Initially, they abided the law by setting up the industry on setting up the industry 14 kilometers from the Gulf of Manna, the violation to the rules actually. Actually, as per the coastal, uh, this is a coastal reserve area, they have been advised to uh, operate the industry from 25 kilometers uh, uh, away from the Gulf of Manna, where they have initially uh, neglected it as Gulf of Manar is subjected to known as a Biosphere's Reserve. That was the first uh, neglect, negligence, negligence uh, happened here. Uh, October 1994, they have laid the foundation for 1,300 crores by ADMK government where uh, Jailalita was, uh, Selvi Jailalita was uh, CM on the in period of the project. Uh, reportedly October, sorry, August 1996, sorry, of August 1996, they have started the project and uh, they got the la- license by October 1996 to operate the project, to start the project in Sterlite mm-hmm. and uh, they started the operation on October. Okay. Okay. So, uh, from 96 onwards, it was operational. They were smelting copper. That's their main business. Um, wh- what about the pollution control board? Were they not monitoring the sulfur and arsenic and other pollutants? Uh, they have been monitoring, but uh, they have been, uh, bribes have been cleared off by the time to okay. get okay. the license of role on the uh, favor of the government, uh, Sterlite. So, there have not been any issues till then. And, okay. Uh, apart, apart from the green belt that uh, Gulf of Manar issue, mm. they mm. don't have any issue. The issue starts on January 1997. Okay. The 
near by company called the Ramesh Flowers Limited. Mm-hmm. Uh, the people are the dry flower manufacturing company. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they are fallen sick and uh, rushed to the hospital. Mm-hmm. And uh, they have inhaled the copper waste cages, the chemical that have been uh, uh, came through the air and the water. So mm-hmm. it was first affected by the workers in the Ramesh flowers. Mm-hmm. Okay. So later on, it carried with the same problem has happened to the Tamil Nadu Electric Electricity Board substation. Mm-hmm. The employees have started complaining with the headaches and the cough. They were the two people who have started uh, raising the issues uh, because of this uh, like uh, copper smelting process. Did they go to the court or did they? Uh, um, well, what did they do? What action did they take? I have been mean, uh, started issuing the complaint, but uh, it has been mentioned as it is not because of a sterilite. It is a very negligible level, so it mm-hmm. can be managed that uh, sterilite have given the uh, uh, least offers of uh, negotiable and they have easily okay. came out from the cases actually. All India Radio um, employees have been uh, came up with the issue on in March 1999, they have been hospitalized with the breathlessness and the nausea issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the time the you know, plant has g- given a permission to double the production to mm-hmm. 70,000 tons a year. <laughs> so their uh, issue has been started and uh, from then, the 1997 till 2008, there are several people who have been Affected by miscarriages and uh, mm-hmm. cancer have been encountered and uh, that born babies are uh, born with some some deficiencies and the water has been contaminated and that since though the several issues have been taken forward to the court mm-hmm. but uh, they have been away easily came away from the issues by getting the stay order and uh, other things. This issue has started like way back i mean 90 yeah. 96 99 as you said when did this problem actually escalate because they see a 100 day protest or something and and later there was a goli bar where 13 people were killed started again on uh, so many issues and the court cases have been going on till 2008 the majorly the project uh, uh, issue have been escalated from march of 2013 Mm. That the people of Tutukudi have come across with the, so many complaints of uh, regular eye irritation and the wheezing problems and the coughing and uh, too many <coughs> miscarriages because of the toxic effect of uh, uh-huh. people of the across India. Uh-huh. Uh, the air pollution has been uh, more contaminated than expected one, and mm-hmm. uh, the company has been. Uh, <laughs> if you do too many times, uh, they are not maintaining the zero pollution level, water and air also. So the every medium has been affected because of this uh, proper uh, smelting plant. So okay. the Madras High Court and Supreme uh, Court also overturns the project to shut down the plant and uh, give them a uh, a uh, hundred crores of rupees as a fine uh, to be paid by sterilite to the uh, to the people or to all the affected on those areas. And uh, by April 13, they have shut down the plan by Supreme Court for the first time. Correct me if I'm wrong, that it was, I'm not sure if it's the first time. Later, three months on June 2013, again, mm-hmm. the has been reopened after the National Green Tribunal allows the company to come up with stating that on the no grounds they found no scientific data or analysis that uh, only the sterilite is the responsible for the whole problem. So they have been tried to come out of the case in the three months and uh, again the issue has been here going on in and there and uh, Strong protest has been started on February 2018 where Sterlet have been allocated with the second plant to open open the second plant on Shipcock. Then mm-hmm. they also got the issue of the land to set up their second plant on. How far is it? 
from uh, Tuticorin. In same location. Uh, so just people have been started agitating very highly on this, and uh, they have been start. Uh, the company have been planned to. produce another 40000 ton per year uh, from the uh, second plant of stellite the people have started strike of with uh, 250 people initially and uh, uh, the protest had been carried by thousands of people and the neighboring areas also came uh, to open hands to uh, together to protest against this industry okay uh, and uh, based on this uh, protest and uh, the uh tamil nadu pollution uh, tamil nadu pollution control board have uh, rejected the sterilites uh, operation for the second plant and they scrap the stop the project for the second plant water they have started and they have not issued the clearance certificate for the second plant initial census for the people from the who are protesting against the still life and uh, again the people and uh, not some supports from a political parties so who are on the non ruling side from the non ruling so uh, where the agitation comes for a hundred days and the people have planned for a march towards the tutukudi district collector to give their uh, petition have a discussion so that mm. they have been going on with the strike for a hundred days they needed some answer or a solution from the government still then the, they are no uh, not the government official or even from the district collector no one was ready to negotiate with the people so so what about the uh, atrocity of the police because uh, i see that i think the superintendent of police is uh, very irresponsible because people who are shot in their tarsa region and 13 people were dead like shot but local people say more than 30 people were actually shot so wasn't that a failure of police and dc and the government everyone actually yeah it was a very big failure and uh, nobody of us have expected uh, this big uh, massacre after the, the jalian wala bomb where the britishers have maybe kill the people but this one has been taken over by our own government so some people here and that is so uh, taking it as uh, equal to the jalian wala bomb actually so what about the future of this problem what do you think the solution should be the government have announced after the death of 13 people now they have told that the uh, like this stopped initially they have stopped the power supply and uh, in the later two days they have come up with uh, stopping the stellar industry from the operations and they have told that stellar is completely shut down and even now people have the doubts uh, over the government both over the corporates uh, and the government while they may be again a stay order on this uh, government's uh, issue of uh, Bad stellar from today. Okay. Get the uh, operation certificate again within ten years. We are still living in a state of fear that they may mm. turn it again. Ah, if I knew a video or another, all I do has a problem and all. Munchi, I know, Jana health and I do all. Tomorrow, miscarriage is like that. So, sick up, but Jana cancer patients are there. I can't. I am bare contacts through killed and I know killed. But in actually hospital, all I get. But do Apollo hospital, all I get. But do tomorrow, Jana cancer patients are there. Two to Korean region. All I need. Kendra, all I. Ah, this pollutant chain is there. Especially arsenic. Mate, ah, you know, do sulfur dioxide. ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಪಟ್ಟೆ ನಾನು ಏರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಅಳಿಸ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇವರು ಏನಾರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಲ್ವಾ ಈಗ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇ ಕೇಮ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೌ ಅದೇ ತರ ಏನಾರು ಒಂದ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ತುಂಬಾ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪರೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವ್ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಕಡೆನು ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಗಳು ಇದೇ ತರ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಇವಾಗ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನೀವ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ರೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಈಗಲೇ ಕೊಡಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ತರ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮುಜುಗರ ಆಗೇ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇವಾಗ ನೋಡಿ ಅವ್ರು ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಬರ್ದು ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ತಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೀನ್ ಪಾಲಿಟಿಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಒಪ್ಕೊಬಹುದು ಬಟ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಓದಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರೋರ್ಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು
ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕಲ್ತ್ಕೊಬೇಕು ಅನ್ಕೊಂತೀನಿ ನೀವೇನೇನು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಂತೀರಾ ಅನ್ನೋದನ